All right, what's going on guys, Kevin right, we're here back on a Complex, here for the third episode of the Skyblock series. If you guys do want to go ahead and join me here on Complex, the IP will be right on screen, count.mc-complex.com. It does actually support me and the channel will go ahead and join using that IP, so I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys using the IP. But today, we have a lot to do. In the last episode, you guys saw we started making an insane amount of money with our brand new farm. If I go to the island right here, you guys will see we have made some pretty big progress on everything. I've also made a nomadic farm. Okay, so also we invited LT5. He's a good friend of mine. But yeah, we made this automatic thing. I'm not exactly sure if it's fully allowed. But from what I've read from the rules, nothing stated that you weren't allowed to go out and mine in there. And we're not even being AFK. We're just making it easier for us instead of moving all around. I know this one doesn't give you MCMMO, but this one does. So we kind of switch between both of them. And I also have my alt account AFK in there with the greenhouse helmet. I think is what it's called, the enchant. But yeah. Today's episode, I want to focus on making some EXP. So first off, I did get the mob tier to tier six, as you can see right here. So we are now at the next spawner. So right here, we can now buy some Endermans and some Turtles to go ahead and unlock the IGs and the Villagers. Also, I was talking to some players. They said Endermite is the way to make some IS top money. So we're going to be focusing on those Endermites in today's episode, I hope. So maybe in the next one, actually, I don't think we're gonna be making enough money or enough mob tiers in today's episode to finish all of that. But yeah, first things first today, I do want to go ahead and make an OP cobble chain. As you can see right here, I TP to a player, you went ahead and show me what happened here. So this is one of the best cobble gens on the entire server. As you can see, I already have it fully scammed out. So basically what happens here, at the top, you're going to have your two couple gens. So you got lava right here and you got lava here. These are waterlogged leaves in the middle. And then you have pistons with a clock at the end, pushing everything down. And then once it, the cobble gets to here, as you can see, everything pushes in this direction. Same on this side right there. And then it all pushes blocks to the middle right here. So what you're going to do, you're getting a max pick out, pickaxe and go ahead and mine everything in this right here. And also, I need to get a bunch of enchant from everything right here to go ahead and make the most profit we can. So first enchant is wise right here. So increase the amount of experience that you drop when you're mining certain ores or killing mobs. This is going to be really good for our pickaxe. I think it's going to be such a big deal to have that enchant right there. So I'm going to focus on getting that. Also, there was another one. I'm not exactly sure where it's at. I think it was called auto smelt, but I can't really find it right now. So we need auto smelt. Go ahead and smelt everything, obviously. And then in the mythical enchant, we need this one right here, rune detector, as a chance to drop a random rune when an ore is mined. Higher tier runes are dropped with higher rune detector levels. So really good on that right there. Then we also got right here, scavenge shards. As a 0.02% chance of finding gold shards when mining ores. And I know that these shards, I mean, these gold shards are really, really good. I forgot what they do on Skyblock, but on factions i know that you can actually go ahead and upgrade your sharpness level on your pieces for example if i were to get 500 gold shards on factions with a sharp five i could go to the r post and make this a sharp six so really really good on that right there i'm not sure what they do on skyblock though i'm gonna have to find that out but i just know this is going to be a very important entry right here then we got greedy ores right here automatically sells all ores of mine for 100 percent value very good right there. And lastly, we got the telekinesis that we got in our hole in the last episode. Very simple, has 100% chance of flowing the dropped items from blocks that you mine directly into your inventory. So, I already have a full scam of this, so I do want to go and start building this. It's going to take quite some time to build, and I'm not exactly sure where to go out and build it. So, I do have to load the schematic right here. So, if we load this, load schematic, there it is. And now, if we go to schematic placements, configure and move to player. I'm not exactly sure where it is gonna be. Okay, see so right there, it is perfect right there. So I think I'm gonna build it like on this side of the island or something, cause we're kind of running out of space with all of these. I'm gonna make it down a bit and build this thing. It might take a bit to go and build as I just said, as I have to end place all of these single blocks right there. I'm not sure what the clocks are for these. I'm gonna have to ask the player who showed me this gen right there. So I'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and start get started on this. And in the next clip, I might have to pickaxe ready with all the enchants. I know LT5 is kind of grinding for that right now. So that's gonna be amazing. Also, got still the same amount of spawners as in the last episode. We got 20 villagers right here. And I think I still have the zombies push or something. Yeah, I still have some zombies placed here, which I do need to go on mine as we don't need those anymore. And actually place all the other spawners back. So we got the castle here, we don't need that either. We've got villagers and my to go and place it all up here. So perfect. Also in today's episode, I do want to go ahead and IS upgrade. I do want to get to the second or fourth tier, actually. 150 spawners. 
500 mil shouldn't be too hard if we actually grind a lot. I know Thief wanted to grind a lot today, so this might be possible to get to 125 spawners in today's episode. Almost like kind of sick if you guys can hear that. I mean, I'm not really sick, just uh, I have a stuffy nose and everything, so pretty annoying, but we gotta get this video through. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on printing all this here. I'm probably gonna make it behind right there and I'll go ahead and bring you guys back in a second. All right, boys, and just like that, we are back. And as you can see in my third, we finally have the pickaxe. So we got the St. Patrick's pickaxe, greed for gold 10. This is a fully maxed out hole right there. I mean, a uh, pickaxe. If I go right here, I think it should be somewhere around here. Yeah, greed for gold. As you can see, mining ores gives you bonus experience. And this is what we want. We want to make as much XP as possible. We have all the enchants we need right here. We have greedy ores, a 20 automatically sells ores mined, which is going to be very interesting. Rune detector 10, basically it's going to give me some runes whenever I mine, which is very, very good. Make some more EXP. And then we have a scavenge shards at 20. This is the most important enchant as a 0.2% chance or 0 0.02 chance to find a gold shard. And these gold shards can be used at the tomb, I believe so, which releases on a Sunday. And then we got Telekinesis 5, same as the whole, basically goes everything into your inventory with really good with the greedy ores, basically sells everything that you get. We got Wise 10, increase the amount of the experience that you drops when you mine certain ores or killing mobs. So that was going to be very amazing right there. And then we have all the smelt to go ahead and smelt all the ores. So I'm going to max out these really quickly. I think this one, yeah, one more. There it is. This should be maxed and everything is fully maxed out. Perfect. I can go ahead and throw all of this into my PV. I don't have a lot of lucky gems left, but yeah, there it is. Grid yours 20 going on the pickaxe. There it is. Rune detector 10. We got scavenge shards at 20. We've got telekinesis 5. Wise 10 and then auto smelt of 5. And there it is. Perfect. The fully maxed out pickaxe is right here. So, so good. And look at the people in chat say W and stuff like that. But yeah. And also I have 115 mil right here. I do want to go ahead and buy the upgrades. So go right here into our eyes upgrades and then go ahead and buy. I don't want to buy the spawners yet. I want to focus on this cobble gen right here. So right here, overworld cobble gen as you can see, level one, which is what we have right now. And then we have level two, three, four, all the way to seven. We can upgrade all the way with the 115 mil we have. And no LT5 grinding all that right there. So we can upgrade this and then upgrade here. I'm just gonna upgrade all the way. There it is, perfect. So we're now sitting at the level seven of this. I should wait, there's level seven. Okay, right here, level seven. Are we there yet? I think we are. We should be at least. Okay, we have 30. No, we have 10 men left. Okay, what level is this? Okay, it's fully maxed out. Never mind. I'm, I did not realize that. But yeah, there it is. Perfect. So now level seven, cobble gen right there. And I also wanted to upgrade something else. I kind of forgot what costed 10 mil that I needed to upgrade. I kind of forgot what we needed to upgrade with this. I am not going to lie, but let's see. So I think I think that was it, actually. I'm not exactly sure what else we needed to upgrade. I think there was one more, but I obviously cannot find it. So we're just going to stick with that for the time being. Also, as you can see right here, the end couple gem. We're probably going to that in another episode. As you can see, there is the end right here. So you can go to the end dimension. You can go to the nether dimension as well. But yeah, as you guys can see, we can buy the end for 300 mil and we can build an actual cobble gen in the end, which is probably going to give you a lot more loot. But if we go to our cobble gen, which is right here, I already uh, placed everything as you guys saw in the first clip. I showed this off, but now we have the ultimate pickaxe where it's going to be so good. And if we start mining here, I hope we can get some EXP. So as you can see, EXP probably going to go up when we, once we go out and mine all of the ores. But we do have to wait until everything clears out because all of these ores are only from the level one gen so we do have to clear most of it to go ahead and get to the next two which is tier seven we're at now but yeah we're gonna be making so much xp with this once it actually goes and put the blocks that we just bought since this one is from level one and the other ones were from level uh, and now we have level seven so it's gonna be a lot better in a second once we go out and clear all of this out so yeah really good progress into this episode i'm not gonna lie really happy with what we've done so far now we just need to make some more money and buy some more spawners also did not make any progress on the mob tiers actually i uh, kind of did we're at mob tier six but you guys saw that in the last clip we do have a lot to go in and do here we got to get 25k of what is the next one actually i don't even remember i think it's the creep no it's not we're sitting at the endermans and the turtles yeah perfect actually no uh piglins and turtles okay yeah and then we got to kill 25k of those to unlock the turtles and the igs i think the igs is where you start making money and then once you get to the silverfish i mean the endermite this is where you make the most money so we need two more tiers until we reach the end of mine. So probably not going to be next episode. Maybe the one after actually. I'm not exactly sure what we can go ahead and do with that. But yeah, making some awesome progress right here. Just got to wait for all of the ores to go and spawn in. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, as you can see right here. We got gold. We got diamond. We got redstone. We got some more diamond. 
same for this right here and i just got as you can see we just gotta clear all of these blocks right here which might take some time but yeah we gotta clear all of those actually we could actually mine from the top this is kind of funny to mine from the top here but yeah this is gonna be so amazing gonna be making so much xp once i should go ahead and mine all of these right here if i can try here as you guys can see we should be making a bit more xp from these actually uh, XP, yeah, there it is perfect so yeah we have a chance to gain some xp from this so really really nice but i do have to clear out everything on this layer all of the stone all of the iron all of the coal to actually go and get all of the diamonds emeralds gold and everything the good ores to go ahead and mine here for some more exp but yeah that's going to be so good and i've not gotten one EX, um one rune from uh, this actually so pretty unfortunate yet but we're going to be grinding this for quite a lot so i think it's going to come along pretty quick once we got to uh, do that but if i go show you guys the island we actually did build a second automatic uh, thing right there so i did confirm with staff this is fully allowed so i did find lt5 and a ram so the lt5 is grinding right there with one of the hoes and then we have a ram also grinding right there so we're gonna have two grinders right there fully automatic again this is not allowed if you're fully afk basically we're just uh mining this and probably I think they're watching a movie or something on their second monitor. But also have my alt in the middle with the greenhouse helmet that actually goes ahead and makes everything grow faster. I think it should proc anytime soon here. So you guys are going to see all the horse are going to basically go up and stream fast. Yeah, right there, as you guys can see, it probably just proc. Everything grows to the next level, which is so amazing. But I do want to keep grinding this in January here. So we actually go ahead and get all the brand new horse right in here. So we can actually start making a decent amount of EXP. As you can see right there, already getting all of these ores right there. So, so good. But I do have to clear all of the stone and the iron and the coal for the time being. So I'm going to do that. And I'll probably bring you guys back in the next clip. We might be able to purchase the next upgrade in the next clip for the spawners right here. So we need 50 mil to get to 100 spawners. That's going to be pretty easy to go in that actually. And then I do want to start working on the mob tiers so we can actually reach the next tiers ASAP. So we can actually buy some decent amount of spawners and we can place some decent amount of spawners so we can actually go ahead and place on is top because we're making a decent amount of money now which is really really good so yeah i'm going to keep grinding here and bring you guys back in the next clip Our boys now guys get shot. We just cleared everything and you guys saw a little time lapse of everything actually spawning in. And now I'm going to pop a XP booster here for 10 minutes and see how much XP we make in 10 minutes. As you can see, I did withdraw all of my XP. So I'm gonna see here grinding for 10 minutes, see how much XP we end up making here. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop this XP booster, and then I'm gonna get started, see how much XP we get. And that's gonna help so much as there's the tomb releasing tomorrow or no Sunday. Sorry about that. And then once that releases, we're going to go ahead and get some PvP action. We're going to be making a god set and everything we need for that PvP action. It's going to be very, very nice. Hope you guys are going to enjoy those future videos. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that real quickly and bring you guys back once the 10 minutes is over. All right, boys, and there it is. The 10 minutes is finally over and we do have 144,000 EXP right there. And then I've opened our inventory. As you guys can see, it is full of these runes. So basically... As you guys can see, these runes are not identified. So if we go to slash C, I think there's a rune identifier. Yep, right here. Choose right here. So use to refill the type level and chance of unidentified runes. XP cost is expensive from the tier being identified. Okay, so basically, I'm not sure if this is going to be worth it, actually. So if we do this, let's see. If we identify this room, it's going to be... Identify this rune for 5k EXP. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. Actually, we could probably just identify all of them. So that's how much we spend. So we're going to be 144. And then if we identify all of them, that's how much that is going to be. 144. And then we just spent, I can't see. So 144 to 85, or actually 86K, which is uh, pretty interesting. So let's see what we got here. Uh, this one is Puffer. That's not very good. Here we got Gardner, Rocket Boots. Also, we got four gold shards. This is really, really good. I think they Spend this ancient treasure with the merchant at the top of the tomb, which, as I said, is going to be releasing on Sunday. And I'm not actually sure what these do, actually, but I know they are very, very good. So we got four from that 10 minutes right there. So I don't think any of these engines are actually very good. So I'm just going to reforge all of them. So we were started at 44,000 or 144,000. So we're going to end up incinerate all of the runes. Let's see how much XP we're going to make from this. And it's going to be 133k. So really worth it to actually go out and do that. We're not saying that 220 thousand exp so basically made a lot of profit from uh actually reforging all these runes right there so 
220k exp in 10 minutes is completely insane if you want me to be honest and four gold shards which i'm gonna hold on to this very preciously as these are really really good can we right click this or anything no we can't so these are really, really good that i know of so we have another uh, exp right there so we're now setting at 270k exp and the next episode we might get started on our god set and uh before we end up today's video i do actually want to go ahead and buy the other upgrades right here I think FD5 and RAM are still grinding, so I'm asking them if I can borrow some money so we can actually go ahead and upgrade all the way. So RAM has 14 mil, LT5 at 24 mil. So I'm not sure if I can have enough quite yet, but I do want to get this upgrade before we end off today's video. That would be amazing. So let's see how much that is. It is going to be 50 mil. So we're almost there. So LT has a uh, RAM has 14. So basically, that is going to be about 40 mil, I believe. So yeah, so 40 mil and then 50 mil with, with my 10 mil. So I'm going to ask him for the money real quickly and bring us back in a second. All right, there it is. LT5 just paid me the 25 mil missing. So we are now sitting at 50 mil. So we can actually go ahead and buy the upgrade right here. So right click, island upgrades, and right here, level 300 spawners, 50 million dollars. We just bought that right there. In the next episode, we might try to get the level four. 500 mil is a quite a lot of money though. I'm not gonna lie. This is very expensive. And I know I wanna reach the end and the nether, probably the nether in the next episode actually. I'm not sure what the nether does, but we might go ahead and do that. And gold shard bank, are these not gold shards? They are, yeah, gold shards. So can we not put them in the island bank or something? Uh, click to manage shard bank. Okay, can we, can we deposit? Okay, actually, I'm going to deposit all of my gold shards right here. So we have everything in the same place for all of the islands. So go right here, gold shard, and deposit everything. There it is. And uh, four, I believe. Yeah, four right there. Perfect. So I think we should have four gold shards now. Yeah, we do. Okay, so four out of 500 right there. But yeah, really, really good progress in today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like on and subscribe. If you guys want to go and join me here on Complex, make sure you use my IP, count.mc-complex.com. As it does, you have to support me and the channel once you go ahead and use the IP. And I really do appreciate every single one of you guys using the IP. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And the next one is going to be pretty insane. We'll be making some pretty big moves. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode.